Okay, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com, and we're having another video for you. Uh, this one's in regards to building dynamic SQL strings. Again, you get the video and the code at the website at VBAHowTo.com. So, I will show you how to, what I'm meaning in regards to this. Hopefully, you can see my screen. Um, uh, what I have here, which you'll see when you get the database, I have this revenue, the share, share data, and basically it's a stock picker. And basically, when, it, when I pick different items from this list here, I want to get every, anything between 100 million and 250 million. Or I may want to change that to get 500 million. Well, or I may want to do something different. Okay, when I click find stocks, I'll get a report basically and saying uh, based on my selection. All right, and then if I decide I'm going to reset this, I'm going to go back to any. If I decide I'm going to get, I want my profit margin to be between one and uh, three. Well, I can get my, I can find stocks between one and three. So here. Anything between one and three shows up. So here's that. Here's the code behind the window. When I click on find stocks, the code that you'll find is so I'm dimensioning some variables here, and I'm saying I'm this is my base query, okay? SDR, uh, SDR stock from select from stock listings basically. And then I'm saying, okay, from here, I'm going to say if if len if I have a length of a string, if I have anything selected in that box, and if it's if it's something other than any, go down here. Uh oh, if it's something other than any, go down here. But if it's any, then I'm just saying, okay, give me whatever the the, sh the share price is. It's going to be all minimum share prices. And basically, I'm just saying, okay, minimum share price, getting the value of the column zero, and the minimum share price. Uh, if I select something in the box, something from the box, I'm saying, okay, what is the right three characters of that string? Is it a uh, million or a billion? And if it's a billion, I'll multiply the value, which I'm storing, which I'm getting out by doing this, val. I'm saying, okay, value times uh, this is a million, and this is a, a value, whatever, the, like it's a hundred billion, hundred B I L. I'm um, taking a hundred and multiplying it by a billion, and then a hundred million. Um, I'm saying one times a million or a hundred times a million, and then uh, here, it's your where I have my it's your where equals. Uh, revenue equals the this minimum and then I say and and then I go on do the same thing with the next one max and basically along the way I'm building my where as I go along and then I'm going to suffix it at the end of I'm going to pin it to uh, it's your SQL so I'm putting where in one clause and the SQL in another clause, and I'm not saying where, but I'm using, I'm utilizing this to generate my where right here. Okay. Oh, I am saying where. Sorry, you could use where somewhere else, but I decided I was going to use it here. All right, and then down here, I'm taking off the last and. I'm extracting that from my string, and I'm saying I want everything from the middle of the string uh, backwards, okay, starting at one backwards, I want to get rid of the and, if it does have an and, and then I'm appending it to, to SCR SQL, and if the length is zero, you didn't have anything, you didn't make any selections, and if the length is not zero, then I'm going ahead and putting in this QDF 
um, sitting as a SQL source for this query definition and I'm opening up my report based on the query definition and here's my little bit of error handling in the background so hopefully that was helpful make sure you go to, to vbahouse.com and you can get the uh, the database and you can uh, twist around tweak it and maybe you have more questions after you see it so hopefully that was helpful and uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you.